Hi, I'm going to be showing you how I do Dian Qigong first sit while sitting in a chair. And this can be useful for people with mobility challenges or balance issues. It can also be useful for people who are facing a serious illness or health issue, or if you're simply feeling a bit run down and want to conserve your strength. Just remember, no matter what your particular reason for practicing in a chair, it's more important to keep up your practice so that you can benefit from the health and wellness improvements that Dai and Qigong can bring. So we start with a chair, one without arms, so that you can woo your hands to the back when obstructed. And a narrower seat is better than a wider seat so that you can bring your lao gong points closer to the huan tiao points when needed. If you are able to shift your body weight in the chair, you can still do diagonal movements, such as fly over water three times by turning and straddling the corner. Also, movements like turn hands, restore chi can be done if you're able to shift in the chair like so. And search for food, also done on the diagonal, can be done by shifting and turning. Now, for those who need to keep their hips, legs, and feet facing straight ahead, shifting may not be possible for you. In that case, you're going to be changing your feet position. For fly over water three times, I have my feet on a diagonal. And I twist from the waist. For turn hands and restore chi, if I keep my feet facing forward, I'm going to draw one foot slightly back. My arm, when I circle for restore chi, will go to the diagonal since my body is facing forward. And for movements like search for food, that can simply be done by facing forward and alternating the feet. The other modification will be in the 180 degree turns that are done if you were standing up. So on these, we'll simply modify which foot is forward and minimize the changing of the feet back and forth for those movements. And this would be between drag moon from modern and hook of the moon, and also in between each of the seven steps that are done at the end of the set between fly up seven times, fly over water, search for food, seeking the nest. You may need to make slightly different modifications to fit your own particular
particular situation, but just remember that's what's more important than exactly how you do the movements is your intention. So your mind will guide the chi, and the chi will move through the body and bring healing, wellness, and well-being. So let's begin by sitting closer to the edge of the chair and having your feet parallel and shoulders wide with the ankles falling directly below the knees. Don't forget your qigong palm, tongue touching the upper palate. Clear the mind and think on the movements to come. Bending forward from the hips, palms to heart bell points. Lao Gong guide the chi down, gallbladder meridian. Here you can lift the heels. Be sure to put them down before you straighten and bring hands to lower down chin. Lift the heels as the hands reach the sides of the body so that you can do shake up of arms. Being careful not to lean too far over or bend. So if you can shift in the chair, I will do it on this side to show that modification. back in the chair. Now on this side I'm going to show you how it looks if you do not make the adjustment in the chair. Arm is going to go to the diagonal because the body is facing the front. Slightly in, the other forward. Front foot is a side touch. waist, I want to lean a little bit forward from the hips to simulate the weight in the front leg. So if knees are up, I'm going to straighten to simulate the weight shift back. Stretch single wing, another side touch in the front. Again, slightly leaning forward, just lifting the right heel to simulate the weight shift forward. Shifting back and putting the heel down. Now 
Now on this turn, I'm simply going to leave the left foot forward. Look at the moon. Well, push chi and turn and push chi. I want to bring my foot a little bit in. Both heels are up. Adjusting the feet. Again, both heels are up. Again, a slight lean from the hip simulates the weight being in the front leg. And fly over water. Remember that if you are unable to shift in the chair, you can do this by adjusting the feet instead. Drink water. Front heel is slightly off the floor. And when I do look at the sky, I do want to bring my left foot back a little bit and move my right foot forward so the feet are parallel and shoulders wide. Changing your right hand. Again, being careful not to lean too far over. Come almost all the way up. Massage the ball. standing meditation posture, a little easier than sitting. Penetrate chi. Face plank now. Look at 
your face quite a bit. Come off the heels here. Seven steps, or fly up. Front foot is a side touch. The feet move straight ahead, but the body from the waist turns to the diagonal. Here for the turn, I'm just going to put my right foot in front when I flutter upwards and look up. My left foot comes to the front in order to do fly over water seven times, switch the foot, go over to the other side. standing. Right foot forward when my arms shake forward and up. And for those who can shift in the chair, we are going to the diagonal on the left side. And on the right side. Last one's facing forward to show you the difference. Here's the last one. Pulling up the thighs to hold chi at the lower dantian. And we would be turning if we were standing up. I'm just going to keep the left foot in front. Seeking the nest. Since we're not pivoting, as you would if you were standing, I'm just going to bring that left foot in and move the right foot forward. Here you can close your eyes and lift the heels up. Then open the eyes and place the heels down. Close. Now 
Now, if you wish to gather chi, you can leave your feet as they are and simply bring the lao gong to the lower dantian. Or if you prefer, you can chain the feet to simulate stepping. I hope this is helpful for those of you who wish to do your Dayan Qigong remaining in the chair. Modify as you need to to meet your particular situation if I have not addressed the particulars of what you are able and not able to do. Most importantly, keep up your practice and enjoy the benefits of Dayan Qigong.